everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, it's an account tour. I do it twice a year. The first one I did in January of this year, 2021. And we're about midway, and I know people were asking me to show my roster. Can you show us your six stars? Well, we're going to do that in this video. Uh, but first, uh, take a look at my profile here. Uh, I have been playing this game for about five years now. So what you're seeing when you look at my roster and you look at my stats and everything is five years worth of developing my roster. Okay. Uh, you can see that I currently have the sigil. I just want to point out that the sigil is something fairly new. And if you want to get what I have and build your roster up, the sigil is not going to help you. Uh, you may think it will. If you are one of those that think it will, by all means, go for it. Try it. See how it works. Uh, but in any case, uh, you can see my total number of heroes, 827. My total base hero rating is almost 3 million. Okay. Now, I do not spend on this game other than that sigil. At my level, uh, it doesn't really help me. Uh, progress. Disagree, agree, whichever you want to. Uh, but over five years, I have grinded for pretty much every champion that I didn't have and gotten them. I haven't missed a champion that I've gone for in the arena yet in all these years. Uh, you can see what my prestige looks like there. Um, just recently increased it by a lot by taking Namor uh, to SIG 200. He boosted my prestige a lot. And you can see a few of my other champions here. All right, and let's take a look at my stats. So uh, one thing to look at here is PvP fights one. You know, if you hear someone and they say, oh, you know, I don't really spend, well, then how do you progress? How are you at the level you're at? Well, if you look at their PvP fights one, that gives you a good indication of how they're getting their resources other than spending. And that is the arena. Must grind arena. Uh, you've got to grind that arena if you want to build your roster to where I have it. And it's easier to get your roster uh, up there these days, but it takes a lot of grinding the arena. I do it every day. I have done it for years. Okay, so bear that in mind. All right, so now let me show you a quick way to see the stats of your champions, uh, how many you have. You can go over here to the incursions and um, once you're in here, go on over here to the reward tier and you see that little eye up there? Hit that, and this will tell you how many you have of each champion or uh, each tier. So, six stars. I have eighty nine six stars. I have one hundred and eighty eight five stars. And we're gonna break it down. You're gonna get to see them, uh, and we're gonna break down uh, what rank and, and all of that good stuff. Each, you know, my champions. You know how many I have at each rank. All right, one hundred and eighty eight five stars. 198 four stars. All right. Um, I have pretty much every four star except for, and we'll see that, um, except for a couple of the trophy champions. All right. And uh, let's see. And we have 196 three stars. Uh, similar situation. We'll take a look at that. All right. And yeah, it doesn't give you any more past that. All right. So. That's just a quick way if you want to answer the question. Someone asks you, how many six stars do you have? You can just go on over there, do that, and you can see. Uh, I had told someone that I had 74. Well, that was before I got a lot of six stars from like the Cyber Weekend, 4th of July, and I hadn't kept track. So I was actually surprised that I was this close to 90. All right, so. Let's uh, take a look at the roster. 
Let's start with the uh, six stars, and I will have the breakdown for you up there. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and filter by six stars, sort by ranking. All right. So here are my six stars. Namor, of course, being my top champion. Um, and you can see there, again, we'll have a breakdown. Uh, but all of them up to uh, guillotine. So Human Torch, out of all of these, that's the last uh, rank three. So I have five, uh, if I remember right, four, five, no, six uh, rank three champions. Got to keep track of these things. All right. And I have a uh, you know a few rank twos and a bunch of rank ones. Now look at that Nick Fury. I want to awaken that Nick Fury. If I can awaken Nick Fury, he's gonna go up. All right, so definitely want to awaken him. And of course, you saw uh, Silver Surfer. I got him, but he needs to be awakened. And of course, I'm gonna dump every six stone I have into him, and he'll go up to rank three. Uh, he will actually knock Namor out of the top spot in my roster, but not yet. And when you don't buy offers or anything like that, very difficult to, you know, get these guys ranked up. You know, I do everything that I can to get, you know, every Sigstone, but they're just not available for non-spenders. Okay. Um, they do have certain events, and I do every single one of those, um, but they it's basically a trickle. It's a trickle, all right? So, but it's getting more. You know, they, they are advancing, um, progressing, I should say, all right? But there you go. Got some uh, pretty nice champions in here that I wouldn't mind taking up, but I have to be very, very careful with my uh, resources because I don't get them in, uh, you know, in abundance, okay? A lot of good champions. Some of them need to be awakened. Uh, Captain America Infinity War doesn't need it. He's one of the highest, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, prestige champions at SIG 20. So one dupe, if I took him to rank three, he would actually affect my prestige. All right, and you can see here the rest of them. You know, some pretty decent champions, uh, champions I like. Killmonger I've had for the longest time. Can't seem to dupe him. All right. Um, there goes my buddy Hulk. I'm waiting for a rework. That's all I can say. You got Hulk Buster, pretty decent. King Groot is about to uh, get a rework. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Star-Lord, he's not awakened. Completely useless to me. Uh, even if he was awakened... He would at least have a little bit of use. He'd be faster in the arena uh, because he would ramp up his damage. Uh, but right now, pretty useless. All right, so let's take a look at the six stars I don't have. Okay, so we can uh, filter out real quick here. Unown. Okay, so there we go. I don't have an Immortal Abomination uh, that I would like. Uh, Aegon, I have a five star, so... Eh, it's um, America Chavez, of course, she's in the arena right now. Uh, I want an Apocalypse. I want Archangel. I want Bishop. I want to get a Black Bolt. Uh, wouldn't mind getting a, a Black Widow, uh, any of them. Cable, definitely would like a Cable. Um, Captain America. Uh, wouldn't mind him, but, you know, just for collection purposes. Captain Marvel would need to be awakened, and then, yeah, but I have her as a five-star awakened. Uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider, for sure. Would love it. Um, and, you know, there's some other bangers here. Of course, Dr. Doom. I would love to get a Dr. Doom. Uh, still not sure what I'm going to do after. We have an event called the Summer of Pain right now, and at the end, we're going to be able to get a class selecting Nexus, so... Um, we don't know yet if it's a select three, uh, you know, out of three or 10, but we will get to select the class. And I don't know if I'm going to go mystic, hoping for a doom mutant, because there's so many mutants I would like, uh, or, or what I'm going to do. I don't, I don't know yet. 
All right, so those are some pretty decent champions that I wouldn't mind getting. Gambit, uh, Hercules. Oh, please, I would love to get him. Um, but of course, you know that's not going to happen anytime real soon. Maybe when he comes back around as a basic, but I don't know. It, it might be a lot, uh, but we'll see. Um, you know, there goes a Immortal Hulk. Yep. Wouldn't mind uh, getting any of those. And let's see. Kingpin. Wouldn't mind getting a Kingpin. Um, let's see. Odin. Wouldn't mind getting an Odin there. Professor X. Would love to get a Professor X. All right. And who else? Um, Red Hulk. Wouldn't be bad. He's pretty decent. Shang-Chi. Would love to get a Shang-Chi, for sure. Uh, let's see. Some of these others would be nice to have. I see that Spider-Man uh, Stark enhanced here. Uh, I would like to get him. I really would. Um, I don't think he's quite in. He's in the files, obviously, but I don't think he's available yet. All right. Um, more mutants. I would love to uh, get Sunspot for his uh, prestige, for sure. Uh, Symbiote Supreme, I have the five star, but uh, I will take that six star. No problem there. Uh, OG Thor, I don't know why, I just like OG Thor. Always have. Uh, don't really want a Thor Ragnarok, especially since if I get him, his prestige is high. There'd be some pressure to rank him up, and I'm not doing it. Until they become way more available, I can't afford to do that. Warlock. Warlock is my most wanted six star of any of them. Warlock, okay? Uh, so I would love to get him. You see, like Wolverine uh, X, not really available uh, for me to get right now. Um, but in any case, those are the champions I do not have as a six star. All right, let's uh, move down to the five stars, and we're going to try and move this along. It's getting late here for me. Let's go to, uh, I think we're we're still, all right. Um, so let's just take a look and we'll look at who I don't have. But as you will see, you know, I have a lot of them ranked up. Uh, I think currently I have only one at rank two. I think it's Mr. Sinister. Uh, not Mr. Sinister, uh, Mr. Negative. Um, I think that's the only one, but I ranked up a lot of five stars. I feel like I can't take up too many five stars because I have the six stars that I need to always be sure I can take up. Um, but I'm still trying to rank up uh, five stars that I think are really useful. Like Hercules, I took him up to rank five, no regrets. Uh, if I get the six star... He'll go to rank three if I can get him up there. No regrets. All right. So a uh, lot of champions I have, I haven't ranked up. But if I have a need of them in some, you know, contest or, or content that Kabam puts out, you know, as many of these that I have, I don't use them. And that's true of a lot of uh, players. You know, we have our uh, favorites that we play with. But most of these, like um, Immortal Hulk, he's pretty good. Okay. Um, I've seen a lot of good stuff out of him. There's a lot of champions. If I was able to take up, you know, whoever I wanted, I'd have a lot more ranked up. But, you know, the resources for five stars are coming in a little bit more now. But they're still not coming in so much that I can just take whoever I want up. Look away, Big Blue. All right, so there we go. That Those are my five stars. As you can see, Mr. Negative is down there. He's the only one. Let's take a look at who I don't have. All right, and we're going to just look over these. Uh, some of these, like Kang, uh, they're um, trophy champions. So I can't even get them. Still don't have a name one, uh, but I have him as a six star. And that's it. Out of these, 
Um, once you take away, um, you know, Thanos, Wolverine, uh, X, uh, once you take away uh, Scarlet Witch, um, trying to think. I think uh, the Scarlet Witch sigil, but uh, we'll be able to get her eventually. Um, we could get her right now, the five star that is, but she's not available normally. Uh, you take away the Kang, you take away Gold Pool. There's not that many five stars I don't have. Okay, so uh, let's move on. Let's go to my four stars. And I'm just going to scroll through real quick and you'll see the breakdown. So you'll see how many uh, four stars I have at rank five. Just took up Hercules to rank five as a four star. I do still rank up four stars. Um, I am obviously a very hardcore arena grinder. Having more champions at rank five as a four star helps me in the arena. Now, in the featured and the basic arenas, I don't really use my four stars except early on when I'm building up to like win streak five. But other than that, I don't use my four stars. But in Summoner Trials, I use my four stars and it makes that go way faster, much easier when you have them up there. Now, you know, one little uh, tip if you have greater uh, arena boosts, I would recommend that you use the three time boosts, you know, three X boosts and use three stars. Three X boosts on three stars gives you about 19, 20 K per fight. That's more than these uh, 440s and of course 330s. I haven't used them in forever. But um, it's more than even my 440. So um, depending on how I feel, uh, you know, if I'm like right down to the wire because I procrastinated, then I might use my 440s and boost with three stars to try and, you know, do as much as I can, uh, as quickly as I can. But I tend to rank up these four stars uh, during level ups when there's an advancement as well then I'll look for somebody that I can take up as a four star if I don't have anybody as a five star or a six star that I'm planning to take up. All right. Here are the champions that I do not have as four stars. That's it. America Chavez, we're going to have her very shortly. Um, I think we may already have her. I can't remember uh, where, what I put up already. Um, but we'll have her by tomorrow morning, uh, the four star. But then you got Deadpool. He has never been available except for money. So don't have him. And Thanos, who is a trophy champ. I think they have him as a drop in the seasonal um, crystal gifting event. And uh, that's it. Those are the only uh, four stars I do not have. All right. Now. Three stars. And we're just going to scroll through. Uh, you can slow it down if you uh, like. But basically, I've maxed out my three stars. And their SIGs are maxed out as well. All right. Um, three stars. I had been getting three stars before they changed it to um, just being a milestone. I would always grind for the three stars. Um, if for no other reason than to have folks to rank up during the level up, which would get me units. Okay. So I grabbed every one of these that I could for a while. And there you go. America Chavez, Deadpool, and Sigil Witch. Those are the only ones I don't have as three stars. That's it. And two stars here. And I think I just got the uh, Overseer. So he will be, I believe, the only one I don't have ranked up. And as soon as there's a level up, 
and science, he's going up. All right. And science uh, advancement, I will, you know, dump six stones into him. There we go. So the overseer is the only one I don't have maxed out. I will awaken him and dump a lot of six stones into him when there is a science advancement. And here are the two stars. Now, there's a lot of two stars I don't have. Okay. So just look at these two stars I don't have that I would love to have because I like to collect. Now, if you know about Marvel Insider, they offer two star exclusives, and I get every one of them that they offer. Um, I would love to get crystals that had a bunch of these guys in it. Exclusive would love it. I'm not going to spend a, a bunch of units for it, but I would love it just to, you know, get more champs. I, I love building up my roster here. All right. Last but not least is, well, it is least, uh, one stars here. And boom, that's it. I have every one star that you can get. And again, Deadpool for money. So don't have him. All right. So that is my account tour. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. We will do this again next year in uh, January. And we'll see how my roster has progressed after that. I will have America Chavez as a five star. I will be going for her in the arena. Um, so. Uh, she will be added. And so far this year, I have gone for every single new champion and I've gotten all of them, except for Hercules, because I got him out of a crystal. I actually decided to open up some crystals. If you didn't see that video, it was insane. Um, the highlight, of course, is that we got Hercules and we awakened him in the same opening. But we also got some six stars. So if you haven't seen that, check it out. Uh, but that's going to do it. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this encounter tour. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.